Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be my monthly update video, everything I picked up for the last month. Sorry it's a bit late, but yeah, work's been pretty manic. But uh, yeah, I finally found the time to settle down and uh, show you guys what I've picked up over the last month. So yeah, let's get started. I've got about 18 titles to get through. First off, I picked up Carol Reed's Odd Man Out, starring James Mason. The best film that has ever been made in Britain. I'm not sure about that. So please let me know in the comments down below what your favourite British film is. There's the synopsis and special features. Really enjoyed this film. It's like an Irish film noir. Next up is a, a dark Home Alone style film and that is Better Watch Out. Really enjoyed this film. It's not quite what you would expect it to be. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. There's the synopsis quite gory in places but uh, yeah highly recommend this one next up the classic christopher lambert film fortress believe this one might be out of print now so yeah really glad to have this in the collection classic science fiction there's the synopsis doesn't come with much in the way of special features from what I remember. But yeah, just really glad to have it in the collection. Next up is a underrated film and that is Summer of 84. If you like films like Disturbia, definitely give this a try. I picked up the American release, which uh, as I found out was a burn on demand disc. So uh, that's a little bit disappointing. But uh, yeah, highly enjoyable film. Definitely worth a try. So that's the summer of 84. Next up, I picked up classic 1950 science fiction film, The Monolith Monsters. About giant rocks that uh, basically collapse on people and multiply with water. So typical 1950s science fiction you're into that kind of thing it's definitely worth a try i really enjoyed it and this is an upgrade for me from the dvd this release is from screen factory so it comes with a few special features so yeah really glad to have that in the collection next up is a couple of arrow releases i picked up trapped alive not seen this one yet, but uh, just from the artwork alone, intrigues me. There's the special features. So yeah, looking forward to checking this one out. Comes with the collector's booklet. Then also from Arrow, I picked up Night of the Comet. Classic 80s film. Really like that artwork as well. There's the special features. Also comes with the collector's booklet. So yeah, that's Night of the Comet. Next up from Indicator Powerhouse, I picked up No Orchids for Miss Blandish. I already have the Kino Lorba release, but when I saw Indicator were also bringing it out, I just had to pick it up. Comes with the collector's booklet and loads of special features so yeah really glad to have that next up from Eureka is another title I already own from Kino Lorba and that is The Woman in the Window probably one of my favourite film noirs of all time directed by one of my favourite directors of all time Fritz Lang comes with a load of special features Please let me know in the comments down below what your favourite film noir is, if, the, if you like that genre. Next up is a Criterion release. I picked up In the Heat of the Night, starring Sidney Poitier and Rod Steiger. 
There's the special features. This is a new 4K digital restoration. Looking forward to checking this one out. I'm sure it'll be up to Criterion's high standards. Next up from Arrow Academy, I picked up Nightfall. Looking forward to checking this one out from the director of Cat People. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. So looking forward to checking this one out. This comes with a collector's booklet as well. Next up, also from Arrow Academy, I picked up The Big Clock, starring Ray Milan. There's the special features and the synopsis. Also comes with a collector's booklet. So yeah, looking forward to checking that one out. Next up is a bit of a cheesy science fiction film but really enjoyed it, and that is Upgrade. Really enjoyed this film. Great fun. Highly recommended. If you like science fiction. Yeah, really enjoyed that one. And as always, if you've seen any of these films in this update, please let me know in the comments down below what you think of them. Next up is a film I watched just the other night. Um, and that is Stan and Ollie. Really enjoyed it, really did. Um, but I'm not sure it's the kind of film that I would watch again and again. But yeah, it's definitely well made. And certainly gives you a bit of a snapshot into their lives. So that's Stan and Ollie. Next up. I picked up a couple of steel books, a couple more Mondo steel books. I picked up Toy Story. Really like that artwork. Went and saw Toy Story 4 the other the other day with my kids and yeah, really enjoyed it. Looking forward to picking up the steel book of Toy Story 4. But uh, yeah, really like that artwork. Next up, also from Mondo, I picked up Aladdin to add to my Mondo collection. Really nice artwork. Next up is a German steel book, and that is Running Man. Love this film, great cheesy 80s entertainment. Really love this, this steel book as well. Really nice artwork. Comes with a Mondo style slip to it. So yeah, really nice artwork. Great detail. So yeah, really glad to have that. And finally for this update, one of my favourite films of all time. And that is The Hitcher, starring Rutger Hauer. Really love this media book. Really nice addition. Comes with lots of photos and screenshots from the film. As I say, definitely up there is one of my favourite films of all time. There's a few different covers for this uh, for this film, but uh, yeah, I really like that cover. There's the back. I've got number 523 out of 777. Special features and the synopsis if you can read German. So yeah, really glad to have that to the collection. And if you like these videos, please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care.